We've got an election day tomorrow in several states, including right here in New York. One of the Republicans running in the primary for governor here, on the Republican side, is former Trump aide Andrew Giuliani, the son of former Trump lawyer Rudy Giuliani, who had his law license suspended for trying to steal the election. So he has plenty of time on his hands these days to help his kid run for office. This Sunday, the Giuliani's dad and son were out campaigning at a ShopRite grocery store in Staten Island. And in that store, to hear him tell it, America's mayor was viciously attacked by a grocery store worker. All of a sudden, I feel a shot on my back, like somebody shot me. I, I went forward, but luckily I didn't fall down. Lucky I'm a 78-year-old who's in pretty good shape. Because if I wasn't, I'd have hit the ground and probably cracked my skull. Oh, Rudy Giuliani told the New York Post that the worker also verbally attacked him. Quote, I feel this tremendous pain in my back, and I'm thinking, what the? All of a sudden, I hear this guy say, you're an effing scumbag. Giuliani also told the New York Times that he was left with, quote, red marks on his back, but was not bleeding. And he told his Facebook audience the physical assault was extremely painful. I got hit on the back as if a boulder hit me. Uh, it knocked me forward a step or two. Uh, it didn't knock me down, uh, but it hurt tremendously. Again, that was how Giuliani described it. And then the grocery store released the actual footage of the alleged assault. This is what it showed. There is Rudy standing right there in the middle with his back to us, looking away from the camera. Then out of nowhere, what? Whoa. Wait, that's it? That's what felt like a boulder, a gunshot? Let's let's take another look uh, in slow motion. Rudy standing there, he's talking, and then somebody slaps him on the back. The two men appear to exchange words, and that's it. That was the assault, as Rudy tells it. Now, the police arrested uh, the man there, the worker, charged him with assault. The worker's lawyers released a statement saying, in part, quote, our client merely patted Mr. Giuliani, who sustained nothing remotely resembling physical injuries, without malice to simply get his attention, as the video footage clearly showed. He was then needlessly held by the NYPD in custody for over 24 hours. Now, goes without saying, nobody should lay hands on anyone, not Rudy Giuliani, not anyone, regardless of their intention. The tape of the interaction does make Rudy Giuliani's description of the assault seem pretty ridiculous? Always a good reminder to take what these guys say with just the largest possible grain of salt on planet Earth. Same is true of Senator Ron Johnson's ludicrous claim last week when he first pretended to be on the phone and then said he was unaware of his staff's involvement in the fake elector scheme. Well, the truth is now finally starting to come out, and of course, that was all a lie. We'll explain next.